Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. Today's video is all about decoupaging with fabric. I love going to the thrift store and looking through the bed sheets or the linens or the scrap material section and finding beautiful patterns that I can decoupage onto my furniture projects or any type of DIY project. So today I'm gonna to show you how I do it and I have a step-by-step -step tutorial. So lots of work. Let's get started. This is a project that I'm going to upcycle and do a fabric decoupage on the top of it. I actually found this on the side of the road and it's structurally really good. The colors are really funky, but we're going to make it pretty again. And for this project, I'm going to be using the Chiseled Wedge by Zebra. I love their paint brushes and this one's perfect for this project. I'm going to paint this whole end table with two coats of pink chalk paint that I had left over from another project. And then when it's completely dry, I'm gonna sand it down with this 220 sandpaper. And then take a damp rag and just wipe it all off. Make sure that there's no residue left on the top. The fabric that we're going to decoupage is this scarf that I found at the thrift store for $5.99. It was in the 75% off bin and I love the pattern. The pink on the end table matched perfect with the scarf. When you are going to decoupage on top of a surface you want to make sure you're painting underneath a lighter color if not it will show through on your piece of fabric and it will not look as nice so having that light pink underneath will look really nice when we decoupage the scarf on top now we're going to be using a polyacrylic sealer to decoupage you can use mod podge you can use homemade mod podge but i find using the polyacrylic it's thinner and it just lays better into the material trying to get a nice smooth surface. You also wanna make sure when you're picking a fabric, you're not picking something that's really thick. A nice thin cotton or like the scarf or something that will be able to soak up that polyacrylic really well will work perfect when you're trying to fabric decoupage. You want to make sure you're putting on a liberal amount of the polyacrylic sealer. When you lay that fabric into that, you want it to soak right through into the top. Now I've put a pair of gloves on, so when we get this exactly where we want it, now I've cut this piece of fabric just a little bit bigger than the top of the surface. You don't wanna cut it right to size. You want the fabric to lay over the edge a little bit, and then I'm just gonna smooth it out and make sure there's no bubbles and wrinkles right out to the edge. You'll know you've put enough polyacrylic sealer on if it's soaked right through the material. You want to make sure you have spread enough on the base coat that it's going to be able to come right up through the fabric. So that's what I mean by picking a fabric that's going to be absorbent and be able to take on all that polyacrylic sealer. If you're using something too thick, it will not be able to soak through. We've got all the bubbles and wrinkles out of that piece of material. And now before it dries, we're going to put a coat of the polyacrylic right on top of that fabric, making sure that we're spreading that polyacrylic right out to the edge. You wanna make sure you have the polyacrylic right to the edge, even over a little bit. Uh, so it makes it easier when we're ready to take away that extra fabric. You can see how nice this water-based polyacrylic sealer spreads. I find with the Mod Podge, it's just a bit too thick to get it to spread really nice, where this will give you a nice, smooth, even coat. And next time you're at the thrift store, make sure you go over to the scrap fabric section or the bed sheet section, and you'll see all of the wonderful fabric that you can choose from to do this technique with. And I would, what I like to do is when I find a piece of fabric, I'll take the fabric to the paint store, to Home Depot or to Lowe's, and I'll match a paint color that I love out of the fabric and just buy a little tester size or depending on how big your project is and match it all together. I was lucky this pink that I had left over matched this fabric perfect. We've got the first coat completely covering the whole top and then spread out to the edges a little bit. I put it outside in the sun and I let it dry completely. And now that it's dry, I'm going back with that 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just lightly sanding the top. And you'll see as you're sanding it, it's going to go really smooth. You'll see if there was any little rough kind of um, bubbles in it, this will take it right down smooth. 
I've got it all sanded down and then I wiped off any little dust or debris and now I'm putting on a second coat and again making sure that I'm spreading it right out to the edges. Now I think this end table needs some legs. I had these table legs in my stash but I don't like the varnish that's on them so I'm going to sand them right down and then attach them to the little end table. This is them all sanded down. I put some polyacrylic sealer on them. They're gonna look great. I repeated this process three times, letting it completely dry in between each coat. And now we're ready to cut off the extra material. I'm gonna cut a slit into each corner and then we're going to get a really sharp X-Acto knife. Make sure you have a new blade so we can cut through this fabric really easy. Now this is why it was so important to take that polyacrylic right out to the edge because it's crisp and it's dry now and when you run the knife along the edge of it, it'll cut it nice and clean and straight. Hold that knife right straight up and down along the edge of that table and just slowly cut along and I love this. It's looks so fantastic it's nice and neat and tidy and crisp and again you can see why you want to pick a fabric that's not too thick so you can get a nice clean edge when you're all finished Now that we have all the material cut off, I'm gonna take that 220 grit sandpaper again and give it one last sanding right out to the edge. If you have any little hairs of fabric that are left from cutting, this sandpaper will sand that all away. And we're going to then wipe it with a damp rag again and put on one last coat of the polyacrylic sealer, making sure that we're going right out to the edge. And that's how easy it is to decoupage fabric onto your furniture. Once the top was completely dry, I went back and I distressed the whole cabinet. I wanted a little bit of that orange to peek through because there was some orange in that fabric and I think it was a perfect idea because it all kind of made it look like it was meant to be together. And how cute is this? A little tropical kind of boho feel end table that I created from a uh, ugly looking table that I found on the side of the road. If you haven't tried this technique before, grab some fabric when you're out at the thrift store and if you've got a little project you can try it on, give this a go with the polyacrylic sealer. Thanks for watching, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love these other two. Thanks for watching, have a great day.